Okay, so here we are at step number 16, stuffing the bear. It's very important you use small little pieces. You can see I have small little pieces, okay? And then you're gonna work your way down. So I wanna feel your ears and there should be stuffing in there. So you're gonna take those small little pieces, push it into the ear, feel it. I'm gonna then take another small piece, push it into the ear, and feel it. You want to feel stuffing in those ears. I'm going to do the same thing and go to my other inner ear. Be careful not to form holes either. This should take some time. What happens is I tell you to take small pieces. You don't take small pieces. I feel the ears. There's nothing there. And then you have to restuff everything. So I'm still taking small pieces. I'm getting it all to the top. I feel those ears right now. If you take big pieces, the big pieces tend to fall out. So I'm continuing taking small pieces and then I'm gonna work my way down from the teddy bear. Just keep going and going and going. Going a little bit bigger, but you really wanna have those smaller pieces in the inner ears. Now you don't wanna understuff and you don't want to overstuff your teddy bear. I'm still going into those inner ears. I'm feeling I have stuffing. I'm feeling I have stuffing. So I'm going to work my way down. I'm going to do the same thing in his arms, in his feet. And we will add more stuffing at the end also once we stuff and close up the bottom portion. Okay, so I'm Adding more into his face. Again, I keep feeling that I have stuffing in those inner ears. I'm gonna take more stuffing. I'm gonna do the same thing in his hands. Still need more in his face right now though. Again, it's a process. People just wanna take large pieces you're gonna waste time and I'm gonna say, take all your stuffing out and do as the video showed you. I'm gonna start now with my hands. Again, take those small pieces, stuff it in one side, either the right or the left. Again, I'm feeling that I have stuffing there. I'm gonna move over to my other. Those little pieces there, take more. You don't want to stuff too much where you do form holes either. So I'm going to continue to work my way down. I will have a lint roller for all the stuffing that does get on the outside of your teddy bear. Take more stuffing. So feel free to take a big clump of stuffing to your seat. Do it in the back of the room. But please do take your time because what happens is you don't do like I ask you, and then I have to tell you to take the stuffing out, and then you've just wasted time. So if you do the small pieces and you keep feeling, so I feel here, I feel here, and I have stuffing everywhere. I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna stop the video, okay? And then I'm gonna show you what it should, actually I think I'm gonna keep the video going. I'm going to torture you one day in class, <laughs> if you could call this torture and watch me stuff. I'm trying to do it as quickly as I can now. Okay, and then what's going to happen is we're going to pin the bottom. So we're going to get into the foot pads, into his feet. Again, I'm taking small pieces and getting it over into the corner. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now you may not have it totally sewn, all right? So we're gonna, we can always add more at the end, all right? So I'm gonna say I'm pretty good. You don't wanna overstuff, you don't wanna under. I'm actually gonna bring a little bit more up over here. Keep going. I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna add more. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin it. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple pins 
And I'm gonna pin through, not right on the edge, close, because you're gonna be sewing there and closing up the teddy bear. This point, you have to start sewing a little bit differently because you have to hide your knot. So I'm going through the back as well as the front of the teddy bear. Let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so right now, this is now pinned. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you how to continue because we will have to hide the knot. So after you pin, we're gonna move on to step number 17, continuing the blanket stitch.